Hey there! In today's episode of KSP Easy Mods, we're going to be looking at a mod called Stage Recovery. In many ways, Stage Recovery is a companion mod to Science Alert, which we looked at in the last episode. While Science Alert focuses on maximizing science collection, Stage Recovery allows you to maximize the use of funds so you can put more of your cold hard Kerbal Cash into launching more missions and upgrading the KSC facilities. So how does Stage Recovery accomplish this? Well, as the name implies, it does this by recovering the spent stages of your rocket launches, and it gives you a percentage of your parts cost back based on their landing velocity and the distance from the KSC. So let's do a quick CCAN install, and then we'll go in-game for a look at Stage Recovery. Okay, let's start CCAN. Okay, to install stage recovery, we will first use the filter to locate it. Let's select it for installation. And let's quickly check the relationships tab. So conflicts, you can see, is conflicting with a debris fund. I'm not sure that's a, an active mod anymore, but I certainly don't have it installed, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's look at dependencies, none. Recommendations, none suggestions so here are a couple suggested mods Kerbal construction time and toolbar we will not install those uh, when we're prompted to do so so let's go ahead and install now and there you can see the two suggested mods but we're not going to select those stage recovery is good to go so there you can see our updated list of installed mods and we're ready to try it out in game. So once you launch the game following installation of stage recovery, you'll see there is a new icon in your toolbar. Uh, in the Kerbal Space Center view, if you select that icon, you'll get the options uh, list. So we'll come back to that uh, shortly for now. Uh, I want to get right into um, building a vehicle so we can show you how stage recovery works. So let's go to the VAB. So what we'll want to do here is create a vehicle um, that would be available fairly early in the game. So let's use a Mark 1 command module, a small fuel tank. Uh, let's go with the Terrier engine. Um, of course we're going to need a couple stack separators, decouplers. Uh, let's use a small uh, flea SRB for the second stage and a hammer SRB for the first stage. And then what stage recovery needs in order to in order to safely recover these spent stages are parachutes. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put a couple parachutes on. These are very light stages. These are going to be you know, very small stages, so we only need one parachute uh, probably on each one. So I'm going to put one on the hammer and then we'll uh, go to the other side to get a little bit of balance and put uh, on the flea on this side. And of course we're going to need a small parachute on the command module as well. So that should be, uh, that should be good enough for, for demonstration purposes. Uh, what we do want to do though, although it needs parachutes of course uh, on each stage, we don't actually want these parachutes to release. So what we want to do is move all the parachutes up in the, in the staging order and rearrange the rest of the staging the way we want it. There we go. If you do release the parachutes uh, with decoupling the stage, then what can happen is you can have that parachute be destroyed if you're going too fast, if uh, if it gets too close to your rocket engine in the next stage, it can be destroyed by the heat of that rocket engine. So you're just safer to go ahead and move those parachutes uh, up so that they don't release when you do your staging. And that should be good enough to get us started, but let's rename this Sage Recovery Test Vehicle Mark 1. Let's do a launch. So before we launch, let's take note of the funds we have available. So we have 8,099,246. Uh, 
Okay, and we're going to uh, try to commit that to memory here because that way we'll be able to see that the recovered stages will put those funds right back in our account and then we can use them for, uh, for future launches. So let's turn on SAS. Let's put our rocket engine up to about two-thirds power and then we'll launch. So let's turn over a few degrees here initially just so that the uh, the stages don't fall back down onto the Kerbal Space Center. We'll stay here for the full burn of the uh, of the first stage. It's getting us up to a to a pretty good speed here now. Okay, so let's release that, go to our second stage, the flea. We're gonna turn over a little bit more. And this guy's gonna run out of fuel fairly quickly. And there we go. And final stage again, two-thirds power. I'm gonna run this to about half a tank left, and then we'll uh, we'll shut it down. There's no need to go too far suborbital here, and uh, we should be able to see stages being recovered fairly shortly. All right, so there is the first notification of stage recovery right there. When you select that, you can see, and again, it is the first stage was first stage fell first because this is the hammer uh, SRB tells you the parts that were on that stage tells you your recovery percentage that you achieved and then what that translates into from a funds perspective so it cost us 975 funds to put all those parts on our vehicle and we recovered 953 for all intents and purposes that stage can be can be considered free we can reuse it again in the future. Only cost us a few funds. So we can close out of that view. You can see the other uh, notification for the second stage was there as well. Alternatively, if you select the stage recovery icon in your toolbar, you get the list view. And that is split between destroyed and recovered. Uh, of course, for this launch, it looks like we successfully recovered both. And when you select them, you get a few tabs here. The parts tab is very similar to what we just saw in the notification, but also has crew information if there was crew on board uh, the drop stage, as well as science if there were science experiments. And then there's a few more uh, little pieces of information here in the info tab. For instance, uh, distance to KSC 4.92 kilometers. If we switch to the second uh, stage, you can see distance from the KSC 10.33 kilometers. So very useful information, uh, very simple to, to use, obviously very simple to see what you've accomplished from a stage recovery perspective. And remember we looked at the funds. If we go back to the funds here again, we're now at $8,101,092. So you can see those funds that we recovered went directly back into to our bank. And we're uh, ready to use those funds again in future flights or for upgrading facilities or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to fast forward here through the, through the rest of this descent. And then we will uh, we'll go back to the Kerbal Space Center and we'll review the options that come with stage recovery in the options menu. Okay, so back to the stage recovery menu that we looked at briefly earlier. Of course you can disable the mod it's enabled by default there are two recovery percentage uh, models there's variable and fixed and you can see there you can select variable there uh, dr velocity that has to do with deadly re-entry which is not a mod that we're going to showcase in this series so i'm going to skip over that for now uh, power thrust to weight ratio of one uh, again when we looked at the stage recovery toolbar icon view when it gave us the list of stages you remember there was two tabs for recover science and recover kerbals you can actually turn those off uh, you can turn off the notification messages altogether and only use that stage recovery list view powered recovery is another option that this mod has which we're not going to get into in this video definitely adds another layer of depth and challenge to, to the mod. Uh, so if you're up for that, by all means, you can find that information on the mod page. 
but we won't cover it here. Uh, and again, there's a couple uh, more smaller options here at the bottom, and you can save those settings. So that is basically it. Stage Recovery is an excellent mod. It's very important that it helps you conserve your funds for use for additional launches, for use for uh, upgrading your facilities. Uh, very important to maximize the use of your funds, especially early in the game. So I hope you enjoy it. Go out there, get a stage recovery for your game, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.